I think this is the best way to do it, at least the best game to play if you want to get it done. We've been playing for eight minutes and we got the triple double. It does not get much easier than that. This has to be the fastest way to do it, man, because we got the triple double in seven minutes. One domination game, five minute quarters, 20 minutes total. If you're playing domination, stop. Don't do it. Yo, what's good everybody? It's CP the Doc, and I just finished evolving Ruby Russell Westbrook all the way to Dark Matter. If you don't have this Westbrook yet, don't worry because he's super easy to get. Just type in this locker code above my head, and you are guaranteed a free Ruby Russell Westbrook. So yeah, I literally just finished my stream, and if you were there, you saw me evolve Russ all the way up to Dark Matter in 5 hours. Technically, it was 5 hours, 18 minutes, but that rounds down to 5 hours, so we'll say that we got Russ in 5 hours. If you want to see the replay for the stream, or you don't believe me, I'll leave the link to it down in the description below, and you guys can see for yourselves how we got Russ evolved so fast. If you don't want to watch that entire 5 hour stream though, this video is for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I evolved Russ so fast. I'm not going to say this is the fastest way to do it, but it did take only 5 hours. You guys probably know that to evolve Russell Westbrook, you're going to need triple doubles. A lot of triple doubles. 36 to be exact. 36 total triple doubles, that's pretty time consuming. But in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get triple doubles in less than 10 minutes. Now some of you guys might think I sound crazy. Y'all are probably like, Doc, triple double in 10 minutes? How do you do it? And I'll just go ahead and say, domination is not the answer. When NBA 2K21 first came out, I made a video about how to get one triple double with Russell Westbrook. I got the triple double in domination on rookie versus the Charlotte Hornets, which is a good strategy, a good way to get a triple double, but now there's a better way. You see, back in September, October, Spotlight Sims, they didn't exist. Domination games, five minute quarters, every game takes over 20 minutes, but right here, in these Spotlight Sim games though, especially this one, 2015-2017, game number two, you play to 50 in triple threat, and you can get this game right here done in 8 or 9 minutes. Even if it takes you like 10, 11, maybe 12 minutes, that's still faster than a 20 minute domination game. So to unlock this game, you gotta first play this game. I'm sure most of you guys know that, but a few guys in my stream were confused, so to unlock game number 2, you have to play game number 1, which is an easy win, pro difficulty, 5 minute quarters, takes you no more than 25 minutes to finish. So if you don't have game number 2 unlocked, First play game number one, but this is the game you want right here, because the competition on the other team is so bad. Well, not bad, but you'll see what I mean in a second. On the other team, we have Ruby Kyle Lowry, who's six feet tall, Emerald Trey Burke, who's also six feet tall, and Sapphire Patrick Beverly, six foot one. So not only is Russell taller than every player on the other team, but he's easily the most athletic player on the court. In this game, Russ is guarding the other team's tallest player, who is Patrick Beverly. I have Steph Curry and Kyle Lowry, who can both help Westbrook get assists by hitting wide open threes. Kyle Lowry is only 6 feet tall, Steph Curry is 6 foot 3, the same height as Russ, but every game that I played on my stream, Russell guarded Patrick Beverly, which is exactly what you want. So let's go ahead and jump into this game, and I'm going to show you guys how easy it is, how fast you can get a triple double. I'm going to start things off by saying this. Most of you guys probably have no trouble scoring. All you have to do is drive in, throw it down, and even if you suck at scoring, all you have to do is score 10 points. And this is on pro difficulty, so scoring is not very hard. Most of you guys are probably having trouble rebounding. And that's why I'm using Steph Curry and Kyle Lowry. You could use some smaller point guards, some more unathletic point guards if you want to. But Russell Westbrook, he's the most athletic player on the court. He's going to jump up and grab those rebounds. He can also drive to the rim and score pretty easily too. So points, I don't think you guys have to worry about points. And honestly, assists aren't really a big deal either. This is pro difficulty, so you could just drive in, draw the defense, kick out, get the open shot. Honestly, you don't have to be open, kick to Curry, immediately shoot, and it's good. Pro difficulty, man, is that easy. Now, I will say this. I've heard that on current gen, this is way harder, because the CPU doesn't miss as many shots. No matter what, though, if you can test the CPU shots, they're gonna miss. On next gen, though, you can leave them open, and they're still gonna miss. Like I was saying, though, defense on current gen might be a little bit harder. This strat on current gen might be a little bit harder, but this team we're playing versus is not very hard to guard, so maybe lock in on defense, and when the CPU shoots, be ready to crash the boards. I can test a shot with Lowry, shots up, 
Easy rebound for Westbrook. The score is 17 to 4. We already have five rebounds. So on current gen, defense might be harder, rebounding might be harder, but scoring is gonna be easy no matter what. Assists are gonna be easy no matter what. All you need, points, rebounds, assists. And you can get all those done before you get 50 points. There's double digit points right there. All you have to do is drive in and score five times. Anybody can do it, no matter how good at the game you are. Getting assists, also very easy. Curry knocks down the three. The game goes to 50, so if you score 10 points with Russ and get 10 assists on 10 threes, that's only 40 points. These games go to 50, so you have a lot of time to get rebounds. Patrick Beverly drives in, great defense. Russell Westbrook skies up for the board. 10 points, 7 rebounds, and 5 assists now, and we aren't even halfway through the game. Getting rebounds is definitely the hardest part. Playing good defense makes it easy. Right here, Treyberg takes the shot. He misses the shot. Westbrook's right there for the board. Kyle Lowry, terrible pull-up shot. He bricks it. Easy rebound for Westbrook. I throw to Curry again, cross court, and it doesn't matter how open he is, man. If you know that release, you gonna be all right. I leave the lane open. I force the miss with Westbrook. Lowry steals the rebound, but it's all good because Curry's open again for another three. 10 points, 9 rebounds, 9 assists, 35 to 7. We still have so much time left to play. Let's go ahead and get assist number 10. Oh yeah, Curry. That's beautiful. 10, 9, 10, and the score is 38 to 10. All right, so right here, I'm leaving Beverly open. You might not want to do that on current gen, but I get back in there, 30% contest, I force the miss, and there's the triple-double. We've been playing for 8 minutes, and we got the triple-double. It does not get much easier than that. And of course, it does not take much longer to finish the game itself. We just got the triple-double in less than 10 minutes, and finishing one domination game takes over 20 minutes. So mathematically, this is the best way to do it. Playing this game right here, instead of domination, is the best way to do it. At the pace I'm going at, you can get two triple-doubles in the time it takes for one triple-double in domination. Scoring, easy. Just take it to the rack. If you're on next gen, leave the CPU open. If you're on current gen, focus on defense a little bit more. Use short players so Westbrook can get the rebounds himself. Look how easy that is. And of course, you can use good shooters so you can get easy assists. And maybe you'll get some offensive rebounds just like that. That's game right there. That took nine minutes, 13 points, 13 rebounds, 13 assists. Like I said, man, I think this is the way. It's gotta be the quickest way. Triple threat offline games are too short. Domination games are too long. I think spotlight sim games to 50 are just right. And I think this one right here is the best of them all. I'll play one more game to show you guys this is not a fluke. If there are any other tips I can give you guys, I'll give them to you in this game. And I guess once again, we'll see how fast I can get this triple double. Honestly, I think you could get this done without Westbrook as the tallest player. But of course, it's not hard to find six foot point guards. Good recovery on defense. Beverly misses the shot. Nice rebound. Let's go ahead and get some assists. Lowry throws it down. Trey Burke has a look. He shoots it. I've heard he's pretty good on current gen, but on next gen, he's kind of buns. Lowry's open again. Lowry knocks down the three. You can also get offensive rebounds. That's a good one right there by Russ. If you get in position with Russ, you can more often than not get the offensive board. Also, try to bait the CPU to shoot shots like that. That one went in, but you know that's BS. Let's go to half court, shoot a three, and that's a quick 10 points for Westbrook. All we need is rebounds and assists. I'm baiting Patrick Beverly. He takes the mid-range shot. Wow, he missed that. If you're on next gen, get used to that. Lowry's open for three, and he knocks it down. I'm baiting the lane. Lowry drives in. I'm right there playing help. Get that out of here. You don't always want to block the shot because you want rebounds, but that was nice. I'm running around this screen. Beverly takes the contested three. Great rebound. If you're on current gen, you want to play defense like that. Don't give him space, don't leave him open, and immediately get ready for the rebound. Trey Burke shoots it, terrible shot, good contest. Another rebound, and another splash. Another bad shot by Beverly, another terrible release, and you guys know what's coming next. Come on, man. Curry again, he's got his takeover. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. Here's another quick fun fact. Whether you're on current gen or next gen, Kyle Lowry loves these pull-up threes and they rarely go in. 
Now, spot up threes on current gen, those go in all the time, but those moving threes by Kyle Lowry on current gen and next gen, very low percentage shots. Beverly doesn't shoot those as much. That is mainly Kyle Lowry. Beverly drives in, he misses. With Lowry, you don't want to bait the drive too hard because if you bait it too hard, he might shoot the three. I know some of you guys have other strats for current gen, other strats for next gen. No matter what your strat is though, I think this is the best way to do it, at least the best game to play if you want to get it done. Because we got the triple double in seven minutes. Seven minutes. We are six points away from winning the game and it took us seven minutes. This team is so bad. If you play next gen, you got this easy. On current gen, the CPU is kind of OP. It's definitely not as easy, but if you lock in, you're gonna get this done easily. Let's shoot one more three with Curry for good measure. Curry for the win, and it's good. Eight minute triple double, 10, 10, and 13 for Westbrook. First game, nine minutes. Second game, eight minutes. This has to be the fastest way to do it, man. One domination game, five minute quarters, 20 minutes total. First game, nine minutes. Second game, eight minutes. That's 17 minutes, man. If you're playing domination, stop. Don't do it. Play the first game of the 2015-2017 Spotlight Sims, then you unlock the second game, and this second game is the key to getting this Evo done fast. 36 triple doubles, we got two in 17 minutes. Even if you take 10 minutes, that's six hours of playing. Would you rather grind for six hours and get Dark Matter Westbrook for free, or do you want to buy one on the auction house for over 100k? Most of you guys don't have over 100k MT, so I think the grind is the better option for everybody. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching. This was just a quick little video showing you guys the best game to play to evolve this Westbrook. Whether you're on current gen or next gen, domination games are long, triple threat games too short, but this spotlight game is the perfect length. So if you're playing domination, like I literally just said, stop it. Spotlight Sim 2015-2017, game number two, that's the game you wanna play. I made Westbrook the tallest player on my team. He was able to jump up and get such easy rebounds. He can get to the rim and dunk on Beverly, make easy layups, and Curry and Kyle Lowry are both there to shoot open threes. You don't need Opal Kyle Lowry or Pink Diamond Curry. Just have two shooters who are like six foot two, six foot one. You could use guys like Donovan Mitchell. He's six foot one. Donovan, six foot one. Damian Lillard, six foot two. Mark Price, six feet tall. There are plenty of good shooters you can use who are shorter than Westbrook is. So yeah, man, like I said earlier, I really hope this video helped you guys out. Evolving Russell Westbrook's not very hard, it's just really tedious. And if you want to get it done fast, I think I showed you guys a pretty good strategy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, shout out to everybody who made it to the end. Thank you for watching, and if this video helped you guys out, I would love it if you subscribed if you haven't already. Every single sub, every single like, it helps the channel grow, and you guys have been showing mad support lately. I can't thank y'all enough for that. You guys stay chill, stay safe, and I'll see y'all again real soon. Turn on notifications so you don't miss the next stream or video.